When the people are coming there and in the defense, they are uh, using a, a subway, uh, and after that, they are being in the part of the, uh, La Défense, and they can have some different panels indicating that there's a shuttle service, and they can just step in in the, in the autonomous vehicle. It's for free for the moment because it's a kind of experimentation, and they can go from the exit of the subway to the place they want to go. Of course, this is the best line, and uh, it's very simple. The aim of this experimentation is to demonstrate what are the capabilities of the vehicle, at the same time to see what is the reaction of the citizen. We think one of the only companies in the world which is really generating revenues from this business because we are selling our product, and uh, the other one, they are conducting experimentation for their own usage, but they are not selling the products. So Navia is really one of the first uh, companies involved in the autonomous mobility. We are now uh, being created by, uh, founded uh, four years ago, and uh, the first vehicle that we have released was the autonomous shuttle, uh, only one year from the beginning of the company, and uh, we have also presented a new vehicle, which is the autonomous cab. Uh, the first one will take place in Lyon as soon as we have the authorization, and the second one will take place in, in Perth. What we are putting on this vehicle is a lot of different technologies. We are really knowing what is the exact position of the vehicle because of course it's necessary and at the same time we are making what we call obstacle detection. So it's really important to have what we call sensors. Uh, the main challenges are really related to um, as soon as you are increasing the speed of the vehicle, you need to have a wider range of perception. We need to have a, a software, and Navia is really uh, building all the software which is uh, necessary that can handle what can be, uh, whatever may be the uh, kind conditions that we can face. The software we are designing is uh, the fl uh, fleet management system because we are thinking about all these vehicles to communicate with them. All the vehicles are linked to the super supervision center of Navia. We have half of our vehicle which are running on uh, what we call a uh, closed site. That's to say that we are, for example, some uh, industrial centers, some uh, universities and so on. And half of our product are now running on open road. And we are now really transporting real people. We, are more, we, uh, we have been transporting more than 300,000 different people in the world. The way we are seeing the, the, the big cities in the future, we need to think about new system of transportation that will be uh, last and first mile application. That's to say that will enable us to go from your offices, your house, and uh, to uh, a subway or uh, a tramway. And of course, at the same time, it will enable to have less vehicle in the cities, less cars, less pollution, less congestion. It will be to convince the citizens to use on a share-based uh, new system of mobility. But really, for example, in France, the French government is pushing very hard to have this kind of vehicle in the campaign and in small villages. You know, the regulation is already the same everywhere in the world. That's to say that we need to have a specific authorization because for the moment, it's only experimentation. And in some cases, it might be the case in the US, it will be uh, allowed not to have anybody on board. But for the other countries, we need to have an operator unable to, to take over the control of the vehicle if there is any problem, or to welcome the people which are coming on board to explain the technology, uh, what we can wait for this technology, and to say, OK, we can feel safe in, the, in, that, uh, in that car. Of course, it will take time, and uh, this, this will be uh, an evolution.